This is the Oogie Boogie Apple Lemonade. <laughs> Doing a solo Disney night. Oh my god, look at this stitch one. So cute. Good morning, you guys. It is California Adventure Day. I'm just doing my skincare. I have like a couple of hours before I leave. I think everyone's already there, but I'm opting to go a little bit later in the day because of Leo. I don't want to leave him for too long before he gets to go potty. Because Trevor's not coming with us today. He is working, so he'll be back around like five or six. So I said I would go to California Adventure a little bit later. That way Leo doesn't go too long without a potty break. So I'm just hanging out for a little bit. I also have to rebond this outside lash again. And it is driving me up a wall. This is gonna be my last attempt. If it comes off one more time, I'm just gonna leave the end off. But it's the only lash that isn't staying. And it's getting really annoying. But it's weird. It hasn't been any reason that has to do with the actual extension kit or like the bonding material or anything. I think they're on. I was washing one of Leo's bowls last night. I accidentally splashed this eye with water and soap, which first off was so painful. And then also I couldn't get in there to like really flush it out because I was still waiting for the lashes to like dry off and stuff because it was still within the 24 hour period for this extension. So I kind of had to like just wait it out for my eye to stop stinging. But because of the water, this one came off and then this one came off. So I had to re-glue both of those last night. So yeah, just like not having the best of luck with the extensions on this eye. This eye is solid. So it's like at this point, I'm gonna give this extension kit like a 50. But hopefully for this like edge one and it'll be good now because I didn't even glue it on like the edge lashes I don't know how well you guys can see I just glued it onto the other extension I didn't even bother with the edges but oh, I'm so tired and I'm thinking about the fact that I have to get up like even two hours earlier than this tomorrow but it was so crazy so for my ticket for today I actually have a park hopper I had tried to get my tickets and I was just gonna do single park each day, like single park today to California Adventure, then single park tomorrow for Disneyland. Tomorrow for Disneyland was fine, but for today, all of the freaking tickets for California Adventure, like the single park, were sold out. And mind you, I bought my tickets like five weeks ago. So the only way that I could go to California Adventure was to suck it up and buy a hopper, which was a little bit pricier. So because I have a hopper, and also I think that they're gonna call it a night a little bit earlier, I'm actually also gonna go to Disneyland today. I've never done like a solo Disneyland trip even back when I used to have my pass and I see the people who have passes on TikTok talking all the time about how they like doing solo Disney visits so I'm gonna go have a solo Disney night I definitely want to go ride Star Tours that's actually my favorite ride at Disneyland mind you I've never been on Rise Against the Resistance but there's also like just something so nostalgic about Star Tours that it's like kind of hard to beat out for me. But yeah, I'm gonna go write Star Tours because my cousin used a Disney planner for both days. And if you don't know what that is, it's just like someone who helps plan your trip to the park. Like you kind of, I guess, tell them like what you wanna hit if you have like any reservations or stuff and they'll put together like a game plan for you as far as like when to go to like each attraction and stuff but i didn't see star tours on there so i'm gonna go ride star tours tonight on my own and then i also want to get a spirit jersey so i'll probably shop for a spirit jersey inside of disneyland tonight when i'm by myself which actually works out because i was like worried about the fact that i wanted to buy a spirit jersey i was like oh my god i'm gonna like have to either break off from the group or like ask if we can pause so that I can go shopping. But now that I have the park hopper and I have this plan to go to Disneyland after we're all done at California Adventure, I'm like, that kind of works out. Then I can just kind of like shop at my own pace. I don't have to feel bad that I'm holding anyone up. And then I'll probably grab a chair out. I just like, I have this tradition. I noticed in like my last few videos and I actually really like it. Anytime I'm exiting Disneyland, I always exit with the chair out. So I'll probably go ahead and grab a chair out on my way out. But yeah, it should be fun. I'm actually kind of like oddly excited about the solo Disneyland night. I think that it's gonna be a fun experience. I'm just putting on some tattoo balm to go over all of these since I'm gonna be in and out of the sun. And then I'm gonna make breakfast and probably edit yesterday's vlog for a little bit before I get ready and then take Leo out. So I spent the morning editing yesterday's vlog and that means cold pizza for breakfast. But now I need to get ready. It's not gonna take me that long. I'm not doing that much makeup, but I need to take Leo on a walk. Hi, baby. Hi, handsome. You cannot have this. He figured out that pizza and now he is like attached at my hip. 
On my way to California Adventure slash Disneyland. Hope you guys can hear me. I put a different windscreen on my mic because it's a little bit smaller, but it's just not as great at like filtering out sound. But I just wanted the whole mechanism to be as small as possible. I am still eating my pizza. I've just been like nibbling on it as I've been getting ready. Fun fact, cold pizza is one of my favorite breakfasts. Like a cold pizza in the morning just hits for me. I always love it. I don't know what it is. I just like, I really love cold pizza in the morning. But I got ready. I'll give you guys an outfit check when I get out of the car. I ended up having to switch my shoes from what I initially styled. I wanted to do my new New Balances because they've been comfortable. I've been wearing them when I've been walking Leo. But I got those like thicker hiking socks. And I'm so glad that I watched Leo in the New Balances today because like after a couple minutes, I realized it just feels so much tighter with the hiking socks and my feet started to cramp. So I switched to my Air Force Ones. I think I need to break in the New Balances if I want to wear them with thicker socks. With like thin socks, they're fine, but I knew for Disneyland I wanted thicker socks. So yeah, I just went ahead and swapped the shoes, but they're all there. I am the one lagging behind because we have Leo to take care of. I also picked up some Starbucks. I wanted my triple espresso drink with the pumpkin cream cold brew but they were sold out of the pumpkin cream cold brew at the Starbucks that's on the way and like I'm kind of running on a time crunch I mean I left on time but I'm just like I'm worried about how long it's gonna take me to park and get on the tram and all of that stuff so I just don't want to risk it and like try to go to a Starbucks that was like a little bit out of the way so I just got the shaken apple espresso so at least I still am getting espresso I was so mad at myself though. I just hit like reorder from a previous order. I wanted a grande, but I apparently had gotten a tall in that order. So I just have a tall, but it's fine. I've been doing like research on TikTok of things that I want to try at California Adventure and also Disneyland, but in particular California Adventure because I haven't been in like five or six years to California Adventure just because the tickets got so expensive for Disneyland and I never wanted to add on the park hopper like I had to do for today. But yeah, I haven't been in so long and oh wait, no, you know what? Just kidding. I got a park hopper in 2020. So it's been three years. Okay. Yeah, it's been three years, but they have done a lot of changes in California Adventure, like even more than they've done in Disneyland. And there's so many more new things in California Adventure than the last time I was there. I mean, there's like the Marvel campus, there's that San Fran Tokyo or whatever. Whatever. So just to like a lot more things to try in California Adventure than the last time I was there So I have like a whole list of food that I want to get and there is like a strawberry matcha on the list So maybe I'll try to see if I can get that especially if they're like in line for a ride when I get there I would end up having some downtime anyways while waiting for them So maybe I can find that strawberry matcha for like my extra little caffeine hit So this is the first time I've ever done this. I prepaid for parking for Disneyland and I've never like gone through this system so I'm very curious to see what it's like. I'm sure it's very easy and I'm overthinking it but I always get nervous on stuff like this when it's my first time because I'm like I would be the one person who's like ticket isn't scanning then I have to like pull up the receipts and like show that it hasn't been used yet or something so hopefully this goes off without a hitch. It's so funny back when we had passes I used to know these streets like the back of my hand. I used to know the fastest way to get to the parking structure, all of that stuff. And right now I'm so lost. Like it's so crazy how I've just completely forgotten like the best ways to get to like the parking structure and stuff. I'm like trying to like find the signs and everything. Cause I just like, I don't remember. And last time I went to Disneyland, we parked at Michelle's parents' house and they just dropped us off literally like right where I am right now. So we didn't have to worry about the parking lot. But right now I'm like trying to find it. And yeah, I'm like remembering, I'm like, this used to be so easy for for me when I had my pass because we did it so often. I miss having passes, but that was like before it would cost like a million dollars to get a pass. So it's definitely not happening anytime soon. Prepaid reserved parking, so easy and so quick. I literally just like held my phone out, they scanned it and waved me through. So I definitely recommend prepaying if you're thinking about it. So cool, there's a car locator in the app. So I'm in aisle three, section C. That's so awesome. Okay, so for those of you who always get lost in the Disneyland parking structure, that will probably be so helpful. Quick outfit check. My Goofy Movie shirt, biker shorts, Air Force Ones, and then my Disney hat, which is so cute. It's full dad hat. And then I did hoops for today, and then I have my bag. I legit already put in a mobile order because California Adventure's right here, and one of the things I want is right at the entrance, but I'm looking for somewhere where I can prop up my phone to take a quick outfit video. I forgot my air stick in the car, so I'm mad at myself.
I need to find Smoke Jumpers Grill. I ordered, what's that like an apple something? I'll, I'll look it up and give you guys the name in a second. So this is the Oogie Boogie Apple Lemonade. I will be spiking it, but I'm gonna try it as is first. Just took a sip and oh my God, it's so good. Also, I'm so glad I brought my own straws, but wow. It definitely will be really good when I put the vodka in it. So they said to meet them at the new San Francisco Square, which is one of the things I wanted to see. So I'm excited we're starting there. And then we are getting the lightning lane passes for the Incredicoaster. No. Hi! Hi, birthday is. girl! Oh, did you I go know. get your cold brew? For, oh, wait, no. That's no, that's not the cold brew. That's um the, it's the Oogie Boogie Apple Lemonade. Oh. Taco, so nice. say hi? <laughs> this was our flower girl. She's hi. back again. <laughs> yeah, this was our flower girl back in the day. She doesn't remember. It's okay. I don't remember who I was a flower girl for, so I'm not offended in the least bit. <laughs> right? <laughs> not at all. Like, someone out of the blue could, like, tell me, like, oh my god, you were my flower girl, and I'd be like, sure. <laughs> Great. I hope I was cute and good. I know. <laughs> on Soaring California and while we're waiting for everyone we are not Soaring California it's Soaring around the world now which I'm protesting because why did they change it but we got two more Oogie Boogie lemonades and I got us some fries to snack on for right now I mean do you want to watch do you want to watch that part or what would you rather do I don't really care I haven't done Guardians but I have seen World of Color so 30 minutes <laughs> So I just left to everyone and I am in Disneyland now. 
doing a solo Disney night, like I mentioned. Oh my god, the backlighting is awful here. First thing I need to do is find a bathroom, but... Oh, also, too, I lost the windscreen on this mic, so sorry if the sound isn't good, but I treated myself to a lightning pass for Rise of the Resistance. It's gonna be my first time riding it. As a huge Star Wars nerd, I'm so excited. You guys, I'm so happy. I love Disneyland, don't get me wrong, California Adventure is so fun, but man, I'm so excited to be inside Disneyland right now. And it's kind of cool that I'm by myself and I literally can do whatever I want at whatever pace I want. Like, I've never done this before. I'm always with someone, which I don't mind. Like, it's nice because then you're not lonely and by yourself, but there's definitely some advantages. Like, I'm walking at whatever pace I want without regard for anybody with me, so loving it. I literally can't stop smiling. I've been so excited to do this all day. I mean, don't get me wrong, more excited to hang out with my family, but because I've never done this before, I was so looking forward to this, and especially once I like treated myself to the lightning lane for Rise Against the Resistance, which we're heading to right now, like I, I couldn't wait to get into the park. was sick. That was so cool. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I finally got to ride it. It's amazing. Like, I've heard that it's, like, incredible, but it's so good. Definitely worth treating myself to a lightning lane for that. The only thing that would make that better is if they did a prequel or OG version of that ride, because prequels and OG are it. My only gripe against it is that it is sequel. But I'm going into Galaxy's Edge right now. I just want to walk through it. And then I'm essentially gonna make this a Star Wars theme night and go ride Star Tours before I go shopping for a spirit jersey. It's just such a classic for me, and it's like part of where my love of Star Wars came from. But it's time to go spirit jersey shopping. I've always wanted the plain black one. I do want to look around and see what else they have, but I have been seeing that the plain black one came back, just the classic one. And I actually saw it at Downtown Disney, so I'm sure Disneyland has it as well. So I'm seeing the hoodies, which are cute, but this time I'm getting the spirit jersey I want because I regretted it last time. Oh my god, look at this stitch one. So cute. Oh. That was a pretty easy find. Now I just need to figure out if I want large or medium though. Here's what it looks like on the back. And success, I finally got the classic black spirit jersey. Last thing that I have to do before I leave, because I'm ready to go, I need to exit Disney eating a churro. That is a tradition. The last three or four times that I've gone to Disneyland, I have bought a churro on the way out. I held off on getting a churro at California Adventure because I wanted to wait until this moment when I was exiting the parks for the night. Going to my usual churro cart. <laughs> All right, y'all, got my churro. But that is a wrap for the California Adventure slash solo Disney night vlog. Make sure to come back tomorrow because again, it's vlog week and tomorrow is a full day at Disney.